Tesla has now officially launched a brand new version of the Model Y. This one's being called the Model YL, and it brings more driving range, upgraded premium touches, and a bunch of features that many of you are going to be really excited about. This isn't some rumor or guesswork. It's real. Tesla has publicly revealed it. So let me break it all down. Everything we currently know about the new Model Y, the pricing details, fresh features, and when you'll be able to get your hands on it. On top of that, Tesla's got some interesting supercharger updates on the way too. I'll also be covering some of your burning questions about what kinds of upgrades existing owners can expect. And there are some surprising things in the pipeline. But before we get into all that, we've got to talk about something a little controversial. There's good news and not so great news. The Tesla Summer Software Update is rolling out now. I actually already did a full video showing off the main highlights, but what's sparking some frustration is that, first of all, not everyone can get it. And second, some folks are wondering if this update really lives up to the hype. Did Tesla bring enough to the table, or is this just another flashy distraction? I don't say that to complain. There are definitely some quality of life improvements packed into this update. The light syncing feature is neat. The updated onboarding guide is helpful. But the main headline here is Grok. That's Tesla's new virtual assistant, available now, well for some cars. But a lot of owners are saying it's fine, just not what they were hoping for. And it only works on Tesla's powered by AMD chips. So if you've got a Tesla running an Intel chip, none of the new features will show up. And yeah, that's been a growing frustration, this split in features depending on the chip inside your vehicle. I'll come back to the AMD versus Intel issue in a minute, but let's look at what people were hoping for if Grok isn't cutting it. I went back through months of leaks and sneak peeks, and Tesla has clearly been working on some other exciting upgrades that we still haven't seen yet. Like Apple AirPlay, there've been actual demos showing AirPlay support on Tesla screens. That would let you stream videos, games, or content directly from your iPhone, iPad, or Mac to your car's screen. The code exists but it still hasn't launched. Then there's Banish Mode. That's the feature that would allow your car to reverse summon itself. Basically come pick you up in reverse. It's been teased for a while but we still don't have it. A lot of people have also been asking for better audio, Dolby Atmos, more hi-fi options, but again no sign of it. And Tesla's map system could still use some serious updates. So when you look at all these potential features that are still missing, it's fair to ask whether the focus should have been on Grok at all. What do you think? Would you have preferred those other features instead of Grok? Drop your thoughts down in the comments, I'd love to hear what you think. Now let's talk about something that comes up a lot. Can you add a front bumper camera to an older Model Y? I'm talking about cars made even as recently as December 2024, before the latest refresh, also includes older Model S, Model X and Model 3 vehicles. And the answer is yes. From everything we've seen, it's technically possible. Tesla has been quietly including the necessary hardware for years now. There's a dedicated port for the front bumper camera, and we've seen Teslas on the road with that camera installed. Even Tesla hacker Green the only just showed this off, he plugged a front bumper camera into an older Model X, flipped a setting in service mode and just like that, it worked. So yeah, it's doable. The real question is whether Tesla will officially offer a simple upgrade path for owners. Right now, we don't know. And I've seen so many of you asking about Hardware 5 whether it's worth waiting for before buying a new Tesla. Honestly, if you're not in a rush, waiting makes sense. Mass production is expected to begin toward the end of this year, and the first Teslas with hardware 5 likely won't appear until sometime in 2026. If you want to wait, go for it. But if you're aiming to get the federal tax credit, there's no hard reason to delay your purchase. Just so you know, we still don't have all the details about what hardware 5 will do or how significant the changes will be. So take all the hype with a grain of salt. Now that we've covered that, let's talk about what's really exciting this week, brand new Tesla models and some big features. First off, Tesla's building a retro-style drive-in diner in Hollywood. It looks amazing. I'm not just bringing this up for those of you in Southern California, though if you check it out, definitely send me photos, I want to see. I think this points to something bigger. First, it shows Tesla is investing real resources into making supercharger stops more enjoyable. In a few select locations we've already seen unique superchargers with lounges, better amenities, even games. But this might be the start of a broader shift. Tesla creating more engaging, premium supercharger experiences. With EV tax credits going away and more competition in the market, Tesla needs to stand out. And things like this are how they can do it. Second, this Hollywood diner isn't just about food. It's got a giant screen where everyone can watch the same movie, and the audio syncs directly to your car's sound system. 
Think of it as a virtual drive-in experience built right into the charging stop. Imagine parking, opening up Tesla Theater, and watching a movie with other drivers around you, all wirelessly connected through your car. It's fun. It's different. And it's the kind of thing that could make charging way more enjoyable. Now let's shift gears. Tesla has just revealed not one, not two, but three new models. That includes a new Model Y and a new Model 3 coming this fall. And I've also got a big update on the long-awaited budget Tesla, what some of us call the Model 2. Let's talk first about the Model YL. This is the one I've been talking about for months. I said we'd see a six-seat version with a stretched wheelbase, more luxury and better range. And I heard it over and over again, that's just clickbait. That's not real. Well, guess what? The Model YL is official now. Tesla's China division just added it to the regulatory database. It's happening. It's launching this fall. And here's what we know so far. It's got special badging that's a bit different than the usual. Some people think the L stands for long, luxury, or long range. Visually, the Model YL is slightly taller and longer than the regular Model Y. Not quite as big as a Model X but close. If you've been waiting for something in between, not too bulky, not too tight, this might be your sweet spot. Inside the seats look different. On the outside it's got some new wheels and possibly a brand new paint color. It looks like a champagne gold we haven't seen before. There's also a subtle spoiler on the back that sets it apart. And yes it comes with 6 seats not 5 or 7. Now let's talk range. We don't have final battery specs, but this new version is built on a longer wheelbase and is physically bigger, meaning there's space for a larger battery. Based on the numbers I've run through some tools, we could be looking at a range of around 400 to 420 miles. That's a big deal. And it's very likely thanks to improved NCM battery tech Tesla is now using. So, imagine this. A roomier Model Y with 6 seats, more comfort, more luxury and more driving range. It's pretty much what many of us have been asking for. And while we're talking about new variants, Tesla also filed a new Model 3 Plus in China. This one might offer up to 380 miles of range. So after years of people saying Tesla's stuck in a range rut, it looks like things are finally moving forward. Let's talk availability and pricing. We don't have exact numbers yet. The Model Y L is going through approvals in China right now and should launch there this fall. The question is, will it come to other markets too? Tesla has often launched features and trims only in China first, sometimes keeping them exclusive, sometimes rolling them out later. That happened with previous versions of both the Model 3 and Model Y. But this time, I have a feeling the Model YL will roll out globally around the same time. Why? Because Tesla's factories are more aligned now, and with the US tax credit going away soon, Tesla needs something big to boost interest. A luxurious long-range Model Y might be just what they need. As for pricing, we'll just have to wait and see. But I'll keep you posted as soon as I hear anything. Now what about the cheaper Tesla, the so-called Model 2? We were expecting it earlier this year. Elon even said publicly it would enter production by mid-2025. But here we are, nearing the end of July and still nothing. So what's going on? My best guess, Tesla had plans to release it earlier this year. The production signs were all there. But then, when it became clear the federal tax credit was going away I think Tesla changed course. Releasing a cheaper model now would only confuse customers and hurt sales of existing models. Tesla needs people to buy now while the credit is still live. If people are holding out for a cheaper car, they won't buy today. Tesla wants those sales now. So I think they've put the Model 2 on pause. But once the credit is officially gone, maybe in Q4, I think Tesla will drop the Model 2 like a bombshell to reignite momentum. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. I really want to hear from you. And hey, if you've enjoyed this video so far, this is your moment to help out. I'm Danny and this is my channel Danny Nova. I pour so much love into keeping you updated. And if you found any value here, please consider subscribing. It's free for you and it means the world to me. It truly helps this community grow. There's a lot more on the way, from deep dives on future battery tech to first-hand updates as these new Teslas roll out. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications and stay with me right here on Danny Nova. You're amazing. Thanks for watching.